Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jocelyn. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever and that's because I haven't filmed in forever. As you can tell by the title, today I will be getting ready for prom pictures because COVID-19 canceled my prom. Or, okay, so they didn't cancel it. I don't know, it's confusing. They pushed it back. A month we still might not go to school they're just trying to work out a place for the venue and stuff it's just really confusing so my grandma wanted to take pictures in front of her blooming flowers her azaleas and that's what i'm getting ready for because she really wanted those pictures and i might not have a prom this year also my dress is not hemmed and i cannot find my prom shoes so the plan is i'm going to do my makeup and curl my hair and there might be a disruption because the guy who sprays for bugs in my house is supposed to come at any minute so I might have to stop. So the lighting might change, who knows. Let's do makeup, let me zoom it in. So I just washed my face. Also it's currently 9 a.m. So if I look disgusting, it's because it's 9 a.m. First thing I'm gonna use is this oil-free moisturizer. Y'all, I literally swear by this stuff. This stuff has cleared my acne. Even though it's a moisturizer, you should always moisturize your face in the morning, um, just so the oil, your face doesn't get super oily. And this helped with that so, so much. So I literally swear by this stuff. So if your skin's really oily and you're in need of a really good moisturizer, highly recommend this Neutrogena oil-free moisturizer. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Okay, I really don't wanna wear that much makeup. Um, one, because my skin has been doing pretty well recently, other than like this and like a few up here. I don't know if y'all can see that. My skin has been doing pretty good recently and it's because I've been home for almost three weeks now because of the coronavirus. And I'll be home for another month, which is gonna be hard, but yeah, I haven't been wearing makeup and I've been like taking really good care of my skin. Also, I live by the beach, so I've been going to the beach and like getting tan, which is helping with like the visibility of like my acne scars and stuff. I just filled it in with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Had this forever, but I really like the brush at the end. Um, I plugged my eyebrows last night, but they're still a little prickly, but I'm not too worried about it. Next. Okay, so I've been switching up my foundations. I used to use this Super Stray Full Coverage by Maybelline. This one right here. And it's like a little pump. I really like it, but it's too light for me right now. So I went back to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This stuff is really good, really cheap. It's pretty good for the money that you spend on it. But I am just going to go underneath my eyes and just a little on my forehead. A little goes a long way in this stuff. Okay, I have my orange beauty blender. Yeah, a little goes a long way. This shade's actually a little light for me. And I'm about to go to the beach later, so that's all. I probably need to pick up a new foundation. Yeah, so I got us the prom, what, like two weekends ago on the beach by my boyfriend Christopher and he surprised me on the beach with like flowers and chocolates and I'll insert pictures right here. I'm gonna zoom you guys out just a little bit cause I don't know if it's focused or not cause this lighting literally sucks even though my big light's on and my window is literally wide open in front of me. But yeah, that's my foundation. I'm gonna make it in once a while so. Then I'm gonna use the Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles and just put that underneath my eyes. This shade is definitely a little light for me or like really light for me, especially now that I have a tan. So it looks kind of weird, but once we put the powder on top, then it doesn't look as weird. This concealer is really, really good and it's also a drugstore, so super cheap and you definitely get your money's worth because it's so good. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my brush and I'm gonna go in with the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Press Powder. Looks like this, don't ever focus. Looks like this. I really like this powder. Um, I used to use this True Match powder all the time and it kind of looks similar to it, but um, this one's pretty good. I'm pretty sure the only reason why I got this is because the other one was like out of stock or they didn't have my shade or something. I can't remember, or I couldn't find it. I don't know, but this one it is pretty good. It's also pretty similar, I feel like, except this one, I feel like, this one might be a little lighter and not as like heavy, full coverage heavy, but I don't really need anything full, full coverage. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Hulu Benefit bronzer. It's pretty empty. I've had this for maybe two or three years. Yeah, I've had this for a while, but I'm gonna use this Pure Brush, P-U-R, 
and it's a really good brush for bronzing um, or contouring. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and bronze up my cheeks. I literally love bronzing because it adds so much color back to your face and also shapes your face really, really well. Also gonna add a little to my jawline so I don't look like I have a double chin in all my pictures. And then some to my nose. I haven't done a get ready with me in a quick minute. Actually, yeah, I think the last get ready with me I filmed during the summer or during like May last year. So almost a year ago. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna use this Milani brush, blush, brush. I, I'm gonna use this Milani blush in the shade Teal Rose. It's super pretty. I don't know if it's focusing. It's trying to find my face, but it is really pretty. Um, just to get the subject out of the way yeah i haven't posted in a while and i'm not saying that i was like busy because i was definitely not that busy i mean schoolwork is like kind of getting to me but um i just didn't really know what to post about because right now it was really hard because i was going through a little mental a mental stage when i realized that i was gaining followers on tiktok much easier lee much easier than YouTube and I put way more effort into YouTube than TikTok but I was gaining more like followers on TikTok so I don't know but then I remembered that I love YouTube regardless of what follower count I have and I'm just really excited to kind of like share the last few months before I go off to college with y'all. I'll try to vlog in college, but I feel like I have, I'm gonna have so much stuff going on. But I definitely wanna vlog, vlog my move-in, my move-in day. So I forgot to tell you, but I'm using the ColourPop highlighter in Super Shock, I've had this. I got this on my 16th birthday. So literally in 2018. I wanna order another, another one, but right now I feel like a lot of places aren't doing online orders. So now for eyeshadow, I don't know what to do for eyeshadow. So my dress is like a gray, like a gray silver. I feel like it would look best with like a purplish eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, um, the Modern Renaissance one. And I feel like using this shade would be really good. I really like the shade and I do use it quite often. So I'm just gonna put that in the crease. Just a little bit, not too much. And then also some underneath my lower lash line just to spice it up i like that okay that's good enough now it's time for mascara so for mascara i've been loving these two so the first one is l'oreal Volum voluminous i don't even know how to pronounce this but it looks like this and i feel like a lot of people get it because it's really recommended it's one of my favorite also it's drugstore which is really good and the shade is brown or it's like a dark brown yeah black brown so it looks very very natural and i love wearing that on its own but i'm also going to wear today the tarte lights camera lashes this is not a drugstore i got this from ulta it was like 20 something dollars but it is really good so i'm going to apply this one First, actually, almost forgot to curl my eyelashes. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Don't know where I got this eyelash curler, probably Target. I'm just gonna apply this. I'm gonna have a little clump. This one is kind of bad for like clumping. I mean, it's not that bad. Maybe it's just my eyelashes or the way that I apply it. But that's why I really like going over it with the L'Oreal one. Also, my bottom lashes, I use the L'Oreal one because like I said, it's like a brown, so it's more natural. I would wear fake eyelashes, except I don't own any, and I don't know how to apply them. For lips, I'm just gonna line them with this Soap and Glory pencil. It's in the shade Plump Believable, and I'm just gonna use the smaller side and outline the bottom of my lip. Just a little bit, more like that. And then I'm gonna take gloss. This is the Wet n Wild lip gloss, just the clear one. And I put it all over my lips, kind of blend it out a little bit. I love this lip gloss so much. I got it in like a pack of three for Christmas with like these like other sparkling ones. So yeah, that's my makeup look. Kind of like just natural. Um, I don't want to go all out because I'm about to take this all off once pictures are done. But now it is time to curl my hair. My TikTok lights are now on in the background because it's connected to a power strip. So I'm gonna curl my hair. Um, washed it yesterday, so 
should be good for curling. So I'm just gonna brush it out. Okay, also, if you're from my TikTok, hi. I never really said welcome back to my channel or anything. Actually, yeah, I did, but I didn't welcome the new subscribers. So if you're new, hi, welcome. Thank you for joining me. And if you found me on TikTok, Hi, I'm a little bit normal here. <laughs> I'm glad y'all decided to stick around and see what I have to offer on my YouTube channel. I'll be posting a lot more, I promise. I miss uploading a lot. It's just everything is so crazy right now. The world is like in an epidemic. So I'm just going to curl my hair. As you can see, my highlights are still in there, but they're so grown out. It's like all the way down to here and it's really gross. I'm dyeing my hair purple, which is in an upcoming video that I'm filming either later on today or tomorrow. Does my boyfriend approve? Not really, but do I care? Not really, I wanna dye my hair purple. Now is literally the perfect time, so um, you should probably stay tuned for my next video where I absolutely destroy my hair. Okay, I'm gonna do a time lapse because I feel like y'all are tired of hearing me talk because I actually was very, I'm very talkative this video, which is weird because I'm usually not that talkative, but I will start the time lapse now. bad lighting well i curled my hair the best i could i don't even know if it's curled all the way in the back okay so now i'm going to get my prom dress out so i got my dress for windsor as long as, as well as all the jewelry that i'm going to show you the dress that i got is high, like a high neck dress so it's not if i wore any necklaces you can't really see it anyways but this is what it looks like i feel like you can't even see in this lighting but it is this gorgeous silver gray dress, super long. Okay, I'm going to get changed. <laughs> this is my dress on. I absolutely love it. Super pretty, I need to take off my watch and this other bracelet. Um, If you watched last year's video, you would know that I got my earrings from Windsor, I just gotta find them. So there's, th they are just these dangly earrings, super cute, love them. Absolutely adorable. Okay, this is like really not on my face right now. That is my complete look, I guess. My complete prom look. Dress is literally so pretty. But I am going to end this video here. I will insert some pictures at the end of this video. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Peace.